welcome back to triple x learning today we have this question on your screen we have to find the value for x so that we can satisfy this equation what will be the value for x over here so we are knowing that this one p by q it is a rational number so this value should not be equal to 0 so we can say that x should not be equal to 0 and if i am drawing a graph over here so this is you know we will have this graph in this way so obviously this is 0 and here we have y axis that is x equal to 0 and here we have y equal to 0 so obviously this value is not coming over here so it is not equal to 0 and I am taking two cases for it so first case is you know x is equal to you know 0 this one and uh, you know according to the uh, here we have x that x is equal to you know greater than equal to 1 and another one I am taking here that is x should be you know uh, lies x lies between 0 and 1 so then we can proceed here so I can go through here if x is greater than you know 1 so I have I'll have this value of table that is x is equal to suppose 1 so LHS term and RHS term are there so if x is equal to 1 so 4 to the power here 1 that is equal to 4 over here and RHS side that is 1 by x so it is 1 by 1 that is 1 so 4 is not equal to 1 so we cannot take x equal to 1 over here and if I am going for x is equal to suppose 2 so here if I have x is equal to 2 so LHS term is LHS term is that is x is equal to no so I am writing here 4 to the power x so here 4 to the power 2 so that is coming here 16 and on the RHS side the value for x equal to 2 is you know 1 upon 2 so it is coming 0 0.5 so it is also not equal to both are not equal here LHS and RHS both are not equal for x is equal to 2 and for x is equal to 1 we are also not having equal values A LHS and RHS both are equal both are equal values over here here also so now we are going to get the value for you know x is equal to 3 so this 3 we'll check it out whether it can applicable or not so if 4 to the power on the LHS side 4 to the power 3 that is uh, 4 into 4 16 and 16 into 4 that is 64 it is coming 64 but on the RHS side if I am taking you know so it is 1 upon 4 it is coming 0 0.25 so obviously this value is not there for you know x is greater than 1 so we are not getting this side answer so what will be values for you know 0 and 1 so here I am having you know suppose x equal to I am taking here 1 upon 2 so if I am taking 1 upon 2 so we will check it out LHS and RHS term so on the LHS we have 4 to the power x so I am taking 4 to the power 1 upon 2 so it is root under 4 it is coming here 2 and on the RHS side this RHS 1 upon here 1 upon 2 so it is coming 2 so obviously here 4 to the power x for a LHS side we have 2 and on the RHS side 2 so x equal to 1 by 2 is coming it is satisfying this equation so it is going to apply over here so that is satisfying our equation 
if I am considering another one, suppose x equal to, you know, so one upon LHS value is 4 to the power x, so 4 to the power 1 upon 3, and that is not equal to your RHS because on the RHS side we have 1 upon x, so x is 1 upon 3, it is coming 3, it is not going to apply over here. So in the same way, if uh, I'm going to take the value for x is equal to 1 upon 4, so LHS side is, you know, it is x to the power 4, so 4, you know, if you 4 to the power x, so x is here 1 upon 4, so this value is not equal to your RHS, because, you know, 1 upon 4, it is coming 4, it is not going to apply. So only one value x equal to 1, that is our solution over here. So we can say that here x equal to 1 upon 2 is our final solution and his, this value can only satisfy our equation. So this is the solution. Thank you so much for watching my videos. For latest upcoming please subscribe my channel. Do not forget to hit the bell icon.